Okay, I'm going to show you guys some tricky stuff about um, where to save your file and whatnot. <clears throat> when you're using Premiere Elements, do not save uh, on your S drive because we've had all kinds of issues when you do that. You need to save it on an external hard drive. Of course, if, if you're at home using your own computer, you could put it on your hard drive. Uh, the ones in CSF 114 generally won't let you save to their hard drive. So anyway so you have to have a external hard drive attached to use uh, Premier Elements or else you're gonna have uh, very likely serious issues so I'm opening a new uh, file I'm creating a new project in Premier Elements so the first thing that I want to do is um, I click on new project and I accept this licensee thing which it keeps asking me over and over not sure why. Okay, after about a thousand years, it prompts me um, for where to save my project. Now, you guys, it's probably going to talk about your S drive, but I'm just on my laptop um, windows and so um, I'm going to say just call this test project so I'll just call it test and then I say um, I here's the really pr crucial part I click on browse where it says where to save it and then what I'm going to do is find my uh, external hard drive and let's see and, and I'm, again I'm not on a campus computer but same difference so go to my external hard drive and I even have a folder here called test and that's where I'm going to save my project so I say OK and it says E in test and that's all cool so I say OK project confirm overwrite and I want to say yes because I had another one where I was testing okay so now there's another tricky thing that you have to do and that is you have to make sure not only when Premiere um, Elements not only does it save your project file but it also creates large cache temporary files and it has to save them somewhere and by default it's supposed to save them wherever you save your project but the problem is on the computers in CSF 114 usually it doesn't completely do that so you have to go to edit and then you go to preferences then you go to scratch disks and here's where see oh in fact it screwed it up here um, but it goes so it says where it's captured video same as project same as project all this should be same as project but the media cache is not it puts it it wants to put it on some sort of an Adobe um, roaming something or other it's on your S drive uh, here it's on my C drive so I have to go in there and say same as project which is E and the test. So you make sure it puts all these cache files in your, it uses your hard drive, which hopefully has a bunch of space. And so then I, cl I click OK. All right, so now I'm ready to start the project, and I shouldn't have any issues about where the cache files are stored, assuming that you have plenty of space in your external hard drive, I'd estimate you're doing a few minute video that you want to have 10 gigabytes of space um, as a minimum. 